Hey, what's going on guys? This is Arbred Redux, and today I'm going to show you how to add your Minecraft world that you downloaded into your game on Java Edition on a Mac. So here we go. I'm pretty sure the information in this video still applies to the current versions of macOS and Minecraft. I'm recording this in 2022, so hopefully it still applies in the future. First, you gotta open up Finder, then go into your downloads and try to find your Minecraft world. I actually haven't even downloaded it yet on my network storage, so let me bring that over. There we go. So pretend I downloaded this from a website, maybe from a friend. Now, I would put it on, on my desktop just to keep track of it, then double click it. It should open Archive Utility, and that should go do its thing rather quickly. So if you want to open up this uh, Minecraft World folder, uh, it, it's it, there's nothing really we need to do with anything in here. So close that. Now in your Finder window, you should have your uh, user folder, which will be whatever you put it as when you create your user account on your computer. Yeah, and it will also have a home icon. Now uh, press Shift, Command, period when you're in that folder. And it'll pop up with a bunch of other junk in here that we don't really need. But one thing that it did do is bring up the library folder, which you want. So go into it, then go into application support, then go into Minecraft, then go into saves. And this is where all of your Minecraft saves for Java Edition are by default. And just drag it over to that. Or you could just type Command C and then go over to the saves folder and then type Command V, which will paste your world within it. Now you can probably start up Minecraft. You don't really need these anymore. So now just uh, go to the Minecraft launcher, which I have up here. Click play. If it's an older world, this may not work, but uh, it probably will if it's if within the past like eight years or something. If it's older than that, you might have some difficulties playing old worlds. And I'm not even going to go into that in this video. So here we go. We're at the title screen. We can do stuff. Since we're here, we can go into single player, and bam, look our world's there. Uh, and we can go play selected world, and if you go edit and open world folder, it'll just take you to the same folder. See, we're, we're inside the saves folder, and inside the world folder. We don't really need that. Um, mine, that's a glitch. Uh, I have to click the top. Okay, there we go. You can optimize world, to open, open, like make backup, open backups folder if you want. I don't, I'm not going to do any of that. You can also rename it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to do that though. So click cancel, and you can either, either double click or click play selected world. And in a few moments, this will plop you into your Minecraft world that you have now successfully imported. Hopefully, I had a failed recording of this. And this isn't actually taking as long to start generating the world as it did before. Or loading the world, I should say. Are you gonna go? There you go. Now we're in a single player world we have just imported. I am lagging a lot because I am recording. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped a few people. See you guys.